Hello and welcome to episode 35 of the Witch Knits podcast. I'm Tri, I'm a witch and I knit and I do other crafty things like spinning, sometimes I dye yarn for myself. Um, obviously I knit, I said that. This is like where I sit down every now and then and talk to you about it. I don't know what my intro is. It's been a while again. <laughs> Oh dear, I don't have a very lot to talk about today, so this is probably going to be a pretty short episode. Um, well, last time I talked for an hour, so this time maybe it's a bit shorter. I don't have a lot. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe and keeping your hands clean and staying indoors. Um, hope you're all well. And... Like last time, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about what's going on in the world because I think we've all got enough of that from other places. So I'm just here to focus on the yarny, fluffy, uh, knitty bits today. Um, so yeah, uh, let's dive into that, I guess. Uh, I do have a couple of FOs and I've got two whips. I forgot one. I'm gonna go get it. I lied. I've got three whips, but one is kind of hibernating because of lack of yarn. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into what I've been working on. Uh, I'm going to start with whips, and I'm going to start with the one that's sort of hibernating. I showed this last time. It has not moved since because I have not ordered yarn for it yet. But this is the Diaphanous Raglan by Jessie May Designs, um, to which I've added beads because I love beads. Uh, <laughs> ever since I knit the cat and my cow, uh, Kristen, this is your fault. I absolutely love knitting with beads and I want to add them to all the things, so I added them to, to this one. But yeah, uh, I had set a goal for myself to finish this for my birthday, which was three days ago um, today. It was uh, the 31st of March, Tuesday this week, and I obviously failed that, but that's 100% down to me just not being able to get the yarn yet. Uh, if I'd done that, I'd be done. <laughs> I'd be probably wearing it today. Alas! There's no yarn for me at the moment, so um, it'll have to wait until I can bump up my uh, supply of It's a Gerard Packer, which is what I'm working the sleeves in and holding double with the um, opal in black. Um, so yeah, that's the status of this one. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate but it is what it is and I can probably wear it to out when we're celebrating the birthday with friends because that didn't happen um, for obvious reasons so yeah it will get done in sap but I need the yarn first but that's enough about that one because we talked about that one last week or well, last week it was two weeks ago um, or was it three? I've been very bad at doing things because I've only been playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> but hey, my second whip is, well, it's it's a, a whip and a half, an FO and a half. It's the, the pair of very, very large mittens. They will be felted so they will shrink a bit and hopefully, especially here, this will be a little bit shorter to maybe there, but we'll see what happens with that. But these are the Eye in the Sky Mittens by Linda Lind on Ravelry. And I just I just love this pattern, it's so fun. Uh, it has oop mitten on the floor, my name and board. Um, it says 
uh, when it's done the other one's gonna say love and this one says hate and it's got the eye in the sky lots of clouds let me just take it off do that it's very pretty and then a cheeky little cross all that way if you prefer that so yeah <laughs> these are fun i love these super fun to knit very engaging um this is how far i've gotten on the second one so i've gotten just past the cuff and started the colour work and I've got the little thumb guess it started um, yeah those are the, the, they're so big <laughs> but they're supposed to be bigger because you're supposed to felt them so yeah uh, just feels odd having a super big. It's big on David as well. Oh, well, not not the um, this part, but like it's long on him on him as well. But then again, I don't really mind that because I don't. The worst thing, the worst thing, is having you know your jacket go to here and then you have that bit of skin showing and then your mitten. It's terrible. I'm a child. I like my mittens tucked into the jacket. Or on top, but that's cumbersome and bulky. But yeah, I've gotten that far on the second one. And I'm really, really enjoying these. Um, they are a free pattern. Um, linked in the show notes and description as usual. By the way, uh, all the patterns, as always, linked down below. Um, the diaphanous is not a free pattern, but this is a free pattern. Um, so yeah, really happy with my one mitten and my other mitten on the way. So yeah, these are these are great, great mittens. Is that going to be this episode? Now I think I've already had one called Great Mittens. I'm not sure. Well, somebody else did a podcast episode called Great Mittens. Last last week I had hefty mittens. This time it will be great mittens. But yeah. <sighs> Those are my knitted whips. I've also got a, a spinning whip. But uh, I'll take that with spinning. So let's get into... Let's get into... What's a get into? Let's get into FOs, shall we? Um, so my first one is another Jessie May Designs knit and it is the My Little Secret crop which is a super cute cropped um, top, tank top which is, I think it's still up as a free pattern I think it's going to be uh, It's she started a little MCAL for people who are home self-isolating and social distancing and stuff uh, to have something to do with a free pattern which is sort of like a, a public test knit and also just an MCAL because uh, the, the pattern had not been tested but it obviously turned out really good. Um, I'll post pictures of me wearing this on Instagram. Uh, I'm not wearing it today because uh, I'm on the fence about the colour. <laughs> that was like a part of the thing uh, with uh, with the pattern is like knit it out of stash yarn and maybe get it get it out of your comfort zone. Which, this is stash yarn in several senses. This is actually hand spun. I spun this yarn, this is the second full skein I ever spun off like proper sheep's wool. Um, at first I'd spun a bunch of cat um, to kind of learn how to draft and stuff. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, and this is the second ever skein I spun. So it's a bit thick and thin, it's a bit... Uh, not perfect, but I think it's really, really pretty knitted up, and uh, I love the colours. I just don't really love them on me. Maybe if I chuck 
like um, a cardigan, a black cardigan and maybe a harness or something on, it would be better. Because I mean, uh, lavender and black is one of my favourite combinations, but just lavender on its own is not really my thing. Um, if I'm to wear a pastel-y colour like that, it's, it's, um, I'd rather wear pink, um, if it's on its own, but pair this with black and I'll wear it, I'll wear the heck out of it, honestly. It's so comfy, it was super quick, super fun, this was, I think, the smaller size, uh, obviously because I'm, I'm a short and small person, but um, I think I used 45 grams of yarn. So it's also like obviously that's for the smallest one and with no modifications to length or width or anything. But yeah, it doesn't take a lot of yarn. And I think you can knit it in anything from like fingering held double to iron. But I'm not sure. I'll, I'll link it as everything else. But yeah, this is another Jessie May Designs pattern and it is, I think, still free uh, as a mystery knit along. And I love it. It was super fun and I think it took me two days because I split it over a couple of days. Um, I could have knit the whole thing in one evening, honestly, but um, yeah. I didn't, because I've done other things. I've been doing other things. <laughs> and my second FO, my second FO is the piebald socks. I finally finished them. But this is like, this is the lesson to take away from this for me. I've done this before and I've done it again. See the difference? This one is bigger because your gauge changes when you wait months between one sock and the other. Shy. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, they turn out really cute and I am glad I sat down to count because I'd done something weird with the counting on the first one. They are identical but my gauge is obviously a little bit different from the one sock to the other. Um, Bob, who's writing me, but yeah, other than that, really happy with them. So now it's just a matter of actually sitting down, writing things out. I'm going to have to knit another pair because I'm not sure what I did with the counting and I need to check it before I ask anybody to test it for me. But uh, if I'm going to have testers, I'm probably going to do this as a free pattern, um, but I'm not, yeah. Uh, probably because um, why not? But I'm going to to want to have people testing this, and for that I will make a thread in the Ravelry group when that time comes. So, piebald, finally done. I'm excited about it. Yay! Go me! Gold star, A for effort. An effort was made. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, an effort was absolutely made. <coughs> but yeah. They're done. And I'm happy about that. Now I can start another sock project. Because I haven't been wanting to start another sock project before these were done. I tried and it just didn't work out. I just couldn't, you know, yeah, I didn't want to, so I ripped them out. But hey, socks. I'm free to knit new socks now. Are those my first finished pair of socks this year? think so, that's embarrassing. If that is the first finished pair of socks this year, this is really embarrassing. But anyway, I'm going to get into spinning, because uh, those are my knitted things. 
So I'm going to start with the whip I have, which is the same whip as last time. It's my pastel rainbow out of these, which is, um, that's the wrong tag. That's for the black uh, fluff, the black merino I have. This is Finn Jones, uh, let it snow glow a little bit more. I think it's called. But anyway, this is, what was I just saying? Spin Jones. And it is Merino, Baby Llama and Rose Fibre. And the black is by Finger Boy. Oh, I do have it. I do have it. Hey, I was saying right, let it snow burn a little bit more. So I just split it up, uh, there was like 140 grams in this bag and I think I took five of each colour, I don't know, but yeah, um, I've got about 100 grams left of this so I'm going to do something with that later, but the black fluff is just plain black merino from Fingerbori. Um, which is a Swedish little yarn shop, or oh, well, fibre shop, wool shop in Stockholm. Uh, I bought this at um, for a fest in uh, the, the sheep and wool festival my sister-in-law and I went to a couple of, almost a month ago. Time flies. Was it a month ago? Anyway, the spindle is also from uh, for a fist. Uh, I bought that there. It is super cute. It is a crystal spindle. And this is what I'm... This is what I'm working on, obviously. Uh, spinning it really thin. I'm going to... to I'm going to two-ply this. And... Yeah. Haven't been spinning at all. Uh, other than finishing the... Sorry, I've, I've got Merino in my lipstick. I haven't touched this in quite some time. I should get back into it. I've been um, working my way through flying something and finishing that, but other than that, I haven't really been spinning a lot. I haven't been doing a lot of anything other than playing a rumble crossing. Shame on me. But sometimes you have to do that as well, don't you? But yeah, my finished object for spinning is I finished and it is so gorgeous. I finished applying my mouse uh, yarn. This is the cutaway mouse, which was uh, Brolags from Barn to Yarn uh, shop on Etsy. And it is Merino and Masham and Angelina fibre. So the, the dark brown bits are all glittery and the pink is not glittery. And I did a chain ply. It's a little bit uneven. Uh, I have to say the yarn is not fully consistent and I'm a little bit bummed about that, but it is what it is. Uh, can't be perfect all the time. Besides, it's not overly thick and thin and it's definitely something I can work with and what is perfect anyway. But yeah, I did that. I have not measured how many metres I have or even grams yet. Um, I was going to do that before filming, but I forgot. <laughs> and now it's a bit too late. But I will make a note for it in my project page on Ravelry because I have a project for this in the hand spoon, so I can easily put that in the show notes. Um, I definitely need to get better at chain plying. Um, it's like being short and doing it, it's annoying because you get into a good rhythm and as soon as you get into the rhythm you have to pick the spindle up and wind it on and then you start over but it's it's a bit clunky and then you get into it and you ha it hits the floor and <sighs> It's super annoying. Uh, I wish I was taller just for the sake of plying yarn. But I don't wish I was taller because I like being short. 
<laughs> that although, however, um, I think a spinning wheel would help immensely with that because you can just keep going and you know once you get into a good rhythm of because chain plying is like it's it's a movement with both your arms in a way it's at least how I do it because you open a, a loop with one hand and you have to kind of sort of like with that go with the other arm to to give more yarn to the loop and then take that and do the same thing it's like <laughs> it looks dumb when I do it like that but it's it's um it is a very involved thing and you get very into it and it's very nice after a while but before you get to the stage of being able to just do it as one continuous thing um it's very clunky for me at least uh, i haven't done a lot of uh, a lot of it i've, I've chain plied one project before um and it behaved a lot differently than this yarn <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, it, I, I, I like it, but it's annoying because you have to, to all the time just snap out of the, the loop you're in and pick up the spindle and wind it on and then you can go again. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's why it's been a long process actually getting this done. And I feel like it lost the twist a little bit sitting on the bobbins for a bit too long because I spun the, the second bobbin last and it was, it's just not as pretty. But, um, well, I applied it last. No, first. I don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> did I even do this myself? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I did. This is 100% my doing. But yeah. It turned out cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm probably going to knit a top of some sort. Maybe another another of these, but longer. Or a ripple top if I get the one with sleeves as well. I don't know. Something. Um, but yeah. I did that and I'm quite happy with it and it's really pretty it's a lot more sparkly in real life I don't know how much it shows up at all on camera but it's really pretty so yeah that's all I've been working on um yeah that's all I've been working on um yeah I have been adding patterns right and left to my library. Uh, <laughs> I got Ixchel finally. That's, uh, you know, Ixchel, the, the one I'm going to put it here because it's beautiful. Uh, it, it's, um, it was very, very hyped, I think, last year or two years ago uh, when it came out in Pom Pom. And I've been wanting to knit that pattern for so long. Um, it's kind of what got me into the whole world of Ravelry because I didn't know where to find I saw, saw it like on Instagram and that's kind of where I discovered just how much there is on Ravelry. Ravelry. Um, so that one has been like on top of my to, to knit list, want to knit list for a very long time. So now I'm finally going to do it because I finally have the pattern and I'm happy about that. <laughs> Ah, uh, what more? Animal Crossing happened. I, I got myself a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing after much debating with myself and much um, feeling like maybe I won't like it and maybe this is a waste of money, but I'm so glad I did. Uh, it took me <laughs> some time of saving, but I did get it. And I'm happy that I did because oh my goodness that game is the best thing ever uh, <laughs> if anyone here is playing um, drop me a note on, on Ravelry or something if you want to do something sometime uh, I'm also like getting very into designing because you can like design your own clothes and patterns for like floors and wallpapers and bed throws and stuff in the game and I'm getting quite into that so I if anybody's on Tumblr and into Animal Crossing 
I will have that linked as well. I um, I started a Tumblr blog. I haven't used Tumblr in so long, so many years. I used to use Tumblr a lot way back. Uh, and then I used, used one like linked to my personal Instagram account back when I had a more goth, like, alt alternative lifestyle centered channel, which I don't anymore. So I haven't used that one for a very long time. Um, kind of just ditched that, to be honest, because <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot happier this way. But anyway, um, I started one for Animal Crossing, like purely Animal Crossing and my own patterns. So uh, if you want to have a look at that, if you play and if you use Tumblr, um, I'll have that linked as well. <laughs> One pattern I, I uploaded yesterday, I'm going to put a picture here, because I can, um, kind of blew up. <laughs> I think I have two followers. One is my very close friend Anna and the other one I don't know. And that pose at the moment is crazy. Uh, it has 140 like notes, which is like likes and reblogs, and I don't know how people find it, but yeah, um, that's that's fun. Um, I'll like I said, put a picture because I'm I'm kind of happy with it, but <laughs> not a brag. But I think that's like the most notes I've ever gotten on anything on Tumblr, so that's something. This is my true calling, making things in Animal Crossing and posting it for people to download. But yeah. Other than that I've just been like running around fishing a lot and picking fruit from trees and just enjoying the good Animal Crossing life. Um, it's been out for two weeks now um, and I have like over 60 hours of play time. I need to chill. I really do, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And, and like, there's not a lot to do these days. Um, in a way, there's never a lot to do for me, but, but yeah. <laughs> I freaking love that game. And I'm so glad I got it. What more happened? My birthday happened, uh, like I said, two days ago, three days ago, uh, the 31st. Um, we had so many plans for it. Raf was going to come here from from uh, Edinburgh. That didn't happen. Uh, we were going to go out with friends on the Saturday before. That didn't happen. Um, we were going to go out. We were going to... Yeah, we were going to get out to eat on my birthday. That didn't happen. Um, so what we did, David and I, and I posted this on Instagram, um, we sort of redid the, the living room a little bit. We turned the kitchen table and we put up another table in, in like, by the sofa. It's right here. It's really pretty. Um, we didn't move it yet because we kind of like it this way, but it's also very messy at the moment because we're, we're too creative souls trying to live in a very small space, but... Uh, <laughs> so, so we kind of did a night out at home and uh, both of us kind of thought this is going to feel a bit awkward and it's just going to be like going to end up by his, like him at his computer and me playing Animal Crossing and stuff but it actually went really well and kind of felt like we were out not at home because we both like dressed up a bit and we made some food we hadn't done before and uh, yeah just putting up other furniture and putting on music that we would not listen to like kind of a bit plain a chill but we, we, I think we found something like chill hop coffee house or something like that <laughs> very good background noise and it actually was very, very nice, and it kind of felt like I did get a night out, but at home, which was also nice, because when we felt done with being sociable, he could go and sit by his computer, and I could start Animal Crossing without having to take a, like, 40-minute train trip first. 
So that was very nice. And for my birthday we kind of just... We did a very quick nip out to the garden centre and I bought a plant that's been on my wish list for a long time. I bought a Rapidophora tetrasperma. I love the name. This is Raph. If I can't have friend Raph visiting from Scotland, I can at least have plant Raph, right? So the first thing I did was I repotted it because it was very, very soggy and um, stuff like that. Uh, and I gave it a bit of a neem spray because uh, I don't trust garden centres when it comes to pests. Um, and it does have, uh, on this leaf, it's, it does have manual damage, but it also has like very light spots that look kind of like something's been eating on it at some point. But other than that, it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. And I'm excited about it. Where are you? Where's the leaf? Oh, there it is. It has a slight bit of variegation right there. And as far as I know, because uh, there is this thing called mosaic virus that um, certain plants can get, like uh, my uh, Monstera donsonii can get that. Um, but as far as I've been able to Google and ask people and research, these guys don't get mosaic. So it shouldn't be that, but I'm keeping an eye on him and if he starts to look sad or he gets crinkly and spotty leaves that because like mosaic as well, um, it's, it's more like spotty, it's not like clean variegated parts of the leaf. This looks a very lot like just straight up variegation. I don't know if he'll keep doing that because the next leaf is... No, oh, it's got a very small amount of variegation, actually. That's interesting. But it's also got light spots, but that's right at the manual damage. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. And if he does look like he's about to go mosaic on my behind, I am going to have to uh, put him in quarantine and see. You can't really treat it, as far as I know. But, um... I'm happy because I've wanted one of these for a very long time and he's already putting out three new leaves and I've had him for three days. It is amazing. And he's got variegation and I'm super stoked about that. I just hope he'll keep being variegated because um, those are kind of rare to be honest. And uh, we all know I love a good variegated plant. I am a sucker for variegation. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna have to make a plant video at some point. Um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see. Because I did get for my birthday uh, gift cards for um, a plant shop. I'm gonna go there and see if they can like get um, perhaps a Monstera Thai constellation for me or something so I can use the gift card on that otherwise I'm gonna see what they have probably Hoyas I love Hoyas <laughs> but yeah um, plants so yeah that's what we did on my birthday we took a very quick trip to the garden centre to pick up some perlite because all out of perlite, can't have that. Now I'm all out, all out of orchid bark, can't have that either. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna pick that up next time we do groceries, I think. And yeah, what more did we do? I repotted a plant. We ordered in food instead of going out. So I had a very nice day and yeah. Now I'm, all, uh, I'm very tired and it's, all, already weekend again <sighs> what to do would do but yeah I think that's all I have this time uh, I could sit here and talk about what's going on but 
uh, just gonna update that we are both feeling okay still, nobody's ill and yeah, things are as normal, I guess. Those working and I'm here, <laughs> so uh, I just need to get my um, knitting back on and yeah. But yes, like I said, if anybody has Animal Crossing and wants to play or anything, um, links to everything down below and, and write me on Ravelry or Instagram or somewhere. Uh, I'm kind of bad at replying, haha, <laughs> what, what is that news? <laughs> but yeah, um, what was I saying? Um, but yeah. Everything, as usual, is down in the description. Uh, um, yeah, if you want to keep seeing what I do when it comes to, well, I suppose Animal Crossing design, because that's my new thing, uh, knitting and, and all of that, uh, consider clicking the subscribe button and also like this video if you liked it, because that is very helpful. Um, and yeah, I will see you again in my next video. Have a lovely weekend and a lovely week after that, perhaps two weeks. And stay safe, wash your hands, <laughs> be safe. And I will see you again soon. Bye.